Hi, this is a short video about administrators and permissions. Let's log into Splink software and go to section administrators. There we can see the list of admins that can manage Splinks. I'm going to add a new one and this admin will have the role, let's say manager. The timeout is his session timeout when he's logged out from the system and the role is management, partner, can see the clients of all partners and I can then customize the permission level. So the permission settings were set according to the role manager but I can add additional access to the system for this administrator. After this change I'm closing the window and now I would like to log in as the test administrator sign in and here you can see the difference that I do not see the all information that was displayed to the main administrator and here on the tariff plans I do not have actions to edit or delete the tariff plans. When I click on the customer information you can see that there are no all tabs but only selected tabs for this administrator. The next let's take a look on the administrative roles. We can create the custom roles or use existing roles in the system. For this I need to go to my administration section and set up the roles. Let's create a new role or let's choose the administrator test and check what he has there. Uh, he has the manager role and all the roles of other administrators we see in the table. And now let's go to the role section and create a new one. So let's create a new testing role that we will assign to our administrator test. So first of all when the role is created we can define the default permissions for this role and then apply the role to administrator or create a new administrator with that role. Now the new role was created, let's go to administrator section and change the role of administrator. It will override all his permissions. So here is the warning message that all permissions will be reset. Now we can again edit his permissions and customize a bit it, but let's leave it to default and just log in as a test administrator. Test administrator and there is really few information because the access level is really low for this admin. Uh, very useful thing that admin can do is first of all he can change his password or he can set up the two-factor authentication he can change the timeout as well and he can customize the search fields and he can see the login information when he logged out the last time. So this is the customization of search fields. So he can change, disable some fields for his search inside the, inf inside the system. And here is the two-factor authentication that we use. So for using that authentication you have to install Google Authenticator or other software that supports two-factor authentication to your mobile phone, scan the code and enter the code. So when you enter the code then the system will uh, be set up. So what I'm doing now is scan the code to my app on my phone and now my two-factor authentication was enabled. Let's log out and now when I try to log in as a test administrator it will ask me for one time temporary password. Again I'm checking it on my phone and the app and I got this code, I'm typing in the code, signing in, and now it allows me to log in. Thank you for your time.